Hi. So today I'm going to talk about the FRM certification. FRM stands for Financial Risk Management. It is a certification very popular among risk management professionals, also quant professionals working in uh, in banks and NBFEs and, and fintechs, especially with big banks, right? The quants working in, in big banks, uh, they a lot of them do FRM certifications. So I'm going to talk about whether this certification is useful and who should do it and who shouldn't do it, right? So this certification is very popular among uh, risk management professional, quantitative risk management professionals as well. And because there are not many universities that provide, uh, you know, degree programs in risk management, there is no way for people coming from non-financial, non-economics background to learn risk management or a bit of finance. So for them, FRM certification is very good. If you're coming from engineering or uh, physics, maths, you know, non-finance background, uh, FRM certification is good. You should do that. But if you have a degree in uh, economics, financial economics, quantitative finance, uh, financial engineering, mathematical finance, then it is less useful in my opinion. So the FRM, uh, certification is very good in terms of uh, you know knowing about uh, risk management and, and a bit of finance but not so good about learning quantitative techniques so it's not very good for uh, learning quantitative techniques but very good for learning risk management right and especially if you're coming from you know, non tech, sorry, you're coming from non financial background, non finance, non economics background, then it is it is a good qualification, it's a good certification for you. Um, a lot of people doing MBA finance also, they take these exams. And I also know people uh, who do not have, let's say, master's degree in economics or finance, and they want to work as a quant or, or a risk management professional they take these exams simply because if you do not have a master's degree, then many banks may not even invite you for an interview for quant positions, especially the big banks, because sometimes it's, uh, it is required that you have, uh, you know, good qualification um, to, to, you know, work there uh, in, in, in risk management department. Uh, and master's degree is often uh, a bare minimum qualification, PhD is preferred. So um, if you do not have a master's degree and you just have a bachelor degree in BTEC, for example, and you want to add to your CV, then FRM exam is a very good one. Uh, I did not take FRM exam, exam because, because I already had uh, a master's degree in financial economics. So FRM exam is very less useful to me. Uh, is it as recognized as CFA, no, actually, FRM is, is very uh, easy, actually much easier than CFA. I think most of my colleagues who have taken FRM exam, they have been uh, able to qualify um, in, in a matter of one or two years. There are two parts to it, part one and part two. Uh, part one is easier, part two is a bit more difficult, but I think most people have managed to, uh, you know, pass the exam. So the pass rate is much, much higher, higher compared, compared to that, that of CFA, right? And if the pass rate is higher than the, the value it carries then is, is somewhat low, right? So uh, in that way, it is, um, yeah, it is less worthy compared to that of CFA, but nevertheless, uh, quite recognized in the industry. If you come from a country, country uh, like, like India, India and you work, you work in UK or Europe, right? your degree programs, your degree certifications may not be valued by the European banks or the American banks, right? Although that's not the case, right? So in that case, actually your FRM certification will definitely give you a lead, right? So people will trust your FRM certification more than your master's degree or bachelor's degree, right? But it is not needed to, you know, get your first job. Right. Um, there is no need of it. In fact, majority of my, my colleagues, colleagues do not have FRM qualification. 
other than FRM you can also do PRM so PRM is the competitor for FRM I think a group of people who were, used to work for GARP and they were also part of FRM I think they branched out and, and they started uh, a different certification program called PRM um, it's less recognized compared to that of uh, FRM but uh, nevertheless a very uh, good good certification as good as FRM and and less costly compared to FRM right so if, if you're coming, coming from, from non finance background I think you can you can take it but uh, I wouldn't recommend you to take it if you are uh, able to read a lot of books and take some courses uh, from, from different institutions right um, I would rather prefer doing CFA or CQF you know these qualification compared to FRM because I think FRM is not that that difficult CFA is very difficult you, you, you learn a lot when you when you do it CQF is very uh, quantitative so if you really want to be quant then CQF does help but FRM as such is is not that helpful right and uh, in some roles in job you know you will find that uh, in the job description people say okay people with FRM PRM certifications are preferred right but never have I come across uh, people who say you know it's an absolute must uh, it's a must have right so that certification is not must have for uh, for you know roles in risk management or quantitative quantitative research right and uh, who can take these exams well anyone can take these exams I think if you're doing an undergrad also you can take these exams um, it costs something like thousand euros something uh, I think the first part uh, is about 600 euro and the second part is about 400 euro something something similar to that so in Indian rupees it's about 80 to 90 thousand right cheaper than CFA uh, and much cheaper than CQF CQF cost you like some seven uh, seven thousand pound seven lakhs and um, how difficult it is it is not that difficult uh, whether there are coaching centers providing uh, assistance um, in these exams yes in India or elsewhere also uh, there are coaching centers uh, there are online uh, coaching programs uh, you can take classes right but I think if you uh, yeah go through the past questions and and just go through the syllabus properly you should be able to pass I think if you put in a bit of effort it's, it's not very difficult to pass the FRM exams right uh, so to summarize if you have uh, already have MBA finance uh, MSc financial economics MSc economics degree I wouldn't recommend you uh, doing FRM exams if you have PhDs I do not recommend you to do FRM exams um, I think you already have good qualifications you can just read some books and, and learn by, by yourself but if you are someone with a master's in physics or maths or statistics and you want to work as a quant and you do not know anything about uh, economics or finance it is definitely a good qualification Besides, if you are, if you are, let's say, just a bachelor uh, degree holder, you are a B.Tech or a B.Sc graduate, and you want to work in in finance and, and risk management, I think one way to impress the interviewer is to have uh, a FRM on your CV. And it's not very difficult. Even while you're doing your bachelor degree, you can still complete, complete uh, FRM. FRM. It's not that difficult. And it does add value to your CV, especially for the ones I said, you know, with just bachelor degree or with a non-finance master's degree, like in physics, maths, chemistry, in those. Uh, okay. Having said that, it's not an absolute must uh, for, for, you know, working, if you want to work in, in, in quant uh, or in risk management. If you have further questions uh, regarding this certification, you can just reach out to me. Ask me in the comment section or just, just email me. Alright, see you next time guys.